How's it going everyone, Rosalind here. Today I'm going to be showcasing the Daisojo build that I used throughout my multiple playthroughs of SMT3 Nocturne HD. And of course I will be walking you through the fusion process step by step. In SMT3 Nocturne, Daisojo is a powerhouse of a demon who can effectively support your party from the first time you're able to fuse him clear up until the end of the game. Being a fiend, he is naturally immune to expel, death, curse, nerve, and mind attacks, which is definitely a plus. But the real reason he is so powerful is due to his unique ability, Meditation. This is a single target ability that deals almighty damage and restores an equivalent amount of Daisojo's HP and MP, which effectively gives him near infinite MP. To supplement this, we will be keeping Prayer, which he learns through leveling up, as it is a nice O button. And for when that isn't necessary, we will be passing down Medirama, which will be what serves as our main healing ability. Medirama also has the added benefit of being able to be used outside of battle, unlike Prayer. Summary Karm is given to him for when we need to revive a fallen demon, and Fog Breath and Sukukaja are chosen so that when combined with other sources, you can stack them up more quickly, and so that you don't need to worry about MP should you need to recast them in a fight. Finally, Makatora and Mana Refill help to further fuel Daisojo's already great MP management while simultaneously turning him into an MP battery for the rest of your party. Now before we get into the actual fusion process, I should mention that the footage used will be from the Japanese version of the game because this is the only version I own. However, I will be walking you through the process and all relevant information will be displayed in English. And of course, if you have any questions about this video, SMT3 Nocturne, or any other game that I cover, you can always hit me up over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash roslingaming or my Discord server, both of which are linked in the video description. So with that out of the way, let's make ourselves one of the best demons in the game. Alright, so the fusion process for this Taisojo is actually very quick and easy, however there are some prerequisites that must first be met. For starters, you do need to have beaten Daisojo, so if you've not done the optional Daisojo boss fight, you must beat him. Uh, if you don't do that, you can't fuse Daisojo. Next, there are a few demons you are going to want to prepare ahead of time. First up, you want to prepare the Nue B. Uh, this is a Nue that is purchasable from the Shady Broker in the Labyrinth of Amala on the second Kalpa. It costs 30k, and this is the one specific one that we want because it has some of the skills that we want to pass down, and it just works for the easy fusion process. Next, you're also going to want to uh, pick up a Sakimitama. This can be picked up from the gym brokers that can be found in some of the major areas, and you do need this to be level 37. So if you aren't able to purchase it for level 37, you may need to level it up in that case, uh, but the reason for that is at level 37 it learns Mediorama. Next, you're going to want to pick up a Nozuchi. This can be either recruited in some of the earlier levels, or it can be easily fused. Uh, skills don't matter, you just needed a Nozuchi. And then you also want a Sudama. Again, much like with Nozuchi, this can be picked up early, it can be easily fused, uh, but specifically with this Sudama, you do want it to be level 18, so you're probably going to have to level it up a little bit. Uh, and the reason being is you want it to be able to learn Makatora and Sukukaja. Once you've prepared all of that, the last thing you want to make sure that you have on hand is a Death Stone. This is an item that can be found within the Labyrinth of Amala. There are a number of them there in some of the treasure chests. And by the time that you're able to fuse this Daisojo, you should have already picked one of them up, assuming that you're being thorough with your expor uh, exploration. Uh, but it is also one of the items that is required in order to fuse a Daisojo. If you don't have one in your inventory when you do the fusion, you won't get a Daisojo. So, with all of that prep work out of the way, let's do the first step uh, for this fusion. Alright, and for this first step, we are going to be fusing the Nozuchi and the Sudama together to make a Forneus. And we're going to be making sure we pass down Sukukaja and Makatora. The third skill doesn't matter. Okay. And now that we have made this Forneus, we do need to level it up to level 23 in order for it to learn Fog Breath. So, uh, I'm gonna do that real quick. Alright, so I've leveled up that Forneus to 23. Go ahead and show you that. There he is, level 23. We learned Fog Breath. The only other thing I have done in advance is I have gotten the Moon Cycle to be a full moon, as you can see in the upper left-hand corner. If you were just looking to fuse Daisojo, then it would need to be between 5 and 8. 8 being a full moon, 
but since we will be doing a sacrificial fusion, it does need to be a full moon. So let's go ahead and make ourselves this Daisojo. All right, so what we're gonna wanna do here is we're gonna wanna select the Nue and fuse it with the Forneus. Now you will see in the results uh, column that it has a little skull next to the Daisojo. This means that you have met uh, the requirements to make a Daisojo or a special fusion. In this case, being at the right moon cycle, as well as having a death stone and doing the proper type of fusion. So here, it doesn't matter what you choose for passing down because we're doing a sacrificial fusion. So what you wanna do is just go ahead and say yes. And then you'll be asked if you wanna do a sacrificial fusion, you wanna say yes again. And then you wanna select Sakimitama. At this point, we can select the actual skills we wanna pass down, which will be Mediorama, Fog Breath, Sukukaja, Makatora, Mana Refill, and Summary Karm. All that's left is to pray that you uh, don't get a fusion accident. Which we didn't. And there you go. That is basically a complete Daisojo. The only thing is, is after you've leveled him up, I think it's two times, uh, it will learn Prayer, and at that point, you'll want to get rid of his Mahamon skill and replace that with Prayer, and then you'll be done. You will have a demon that will last you until the end of the game. Even if you're going for the true demon ending, it will still serve you as your main healer. It will keep you topped up on MP as you're exploring dungeons, and it will serve as a fairly decent damage source as well. So... Hopefully this has helped you out and gotten you a really sweet demon to use for your playthrough. And uh, yeah, let me know if there's any other uh, guides or anything you want for SMT3 Nocturne and I'll see what I can do. Uh, but in the meantime, I hope this has been helpful for you. And as always, uh, if you have any questions about this video or any other uh, you know games that I cover, just feel free to leave a comment in the comment section or hit me up over on Twitch uh, at twitch.tv slash rosalindgaming where you can ask me questions live. Or you can always hit me up on my Discord where I'd be happy to answer any questions you may have. Uh, so next, until next time, uh, take care.